They say it is a rectangle, and the length of the rectangle is four times the width. It's four times as long as it is wide. Okay? So they give you those, that relationship. They tell you the perimeter is that. And then what they ask for is the dimensions. What they ask for is the dimensions. Okay? Now, on the face of it, this question looks nothing like the questions that we've just been doing. Okay? But underneath it, if you sort of dig a little bit, you'll find this exact question. Let me show you. I've drawn the rectangle, and we are told that the length is four times the width. So just like we have over here, let's put some labels, let's put some pronouns on here to help us. Okay? Now, instinctively, I could say length and width. But here's a principle for you in mathematics. If you can do things simpler, writing, like introducing less letters and pronouns and that kind of thing, that's easier to work with, right? So since I know that the length is four times the width, instead of calling this a whole new letter, L for length, being that it's four times the width, I'm just going to call it 4 W. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Now, if you recognize that, when you think about this, this is actually quite simple to solve based on this information that I've provided because you can write an equation that will solve this. For example, I can say uh, the perimeter can be stated in terms of these lengths here. It's a rectangle, so you've got a 4w here and a w here. Yeah, so far so good. So therefore I can say w plus w plus 4w plus 4w. Right? That's a statement for the perimeter, an expression for the perimeter I should say. But that's already a known number. I know that's equal to 250 centimeters, right? So how many W's do I have on the right-hand side? 10. There you go. So my point is, even though this doesn't look like a problem with an equation in it, the equation is there if I dig a little bit. We can solve this equation, right? What's the, equation to the uh, solution to this equation? W equals 25. Okay. Have I answered the question? No. I've almost done it though, haven't I? I've got one of the dimensions, the width. What's the other dimension? It's 4w, right? The length is 4 times that, which is... And you're done. Okay. Now, I could repose this question so that you'd end up with an equation a little more like this. For instance, suppose I said to you, instead of the perimeter being that, Suppose I told you that the area was equal to, say, this. Everything else is the same. Just suppose this is the question now. How could I use this setup in order to arrive at the same, or not the same answer, but the answer that accords with this? What would I write instead of this? Okay, so area is uh, length times width, isn't it? Or length times breadth. So that's area is W times 4W. Do you agree? But just like before, this is a known value, right? This is 100 square centimeters. So I can say 4W squared is 100 square centimeters. So now what can I do? I can divide both sides by 4. I'm trying to solve that equation. It's a quadratic equation too. I'll divide both sides by 4, which gives me this. Is that okay? So what's W now? 5 what? Now, now ah, someone's been paying attention. You'll know in this case... We get to something like this, which looks just like the question, I can't remember what letter it was, just like the question I gave you before, and I said, watch out, there's more than one solution. There's plus or minus nine. In this case here, there is not plus or minus. How come? Because it's measurement. This is a leg. You have to pay attention to what your question is. If it was a temperature, you can get negative temperatures. That's totally fine, right? But it's a leg. So I'm going to say, because it's a leg, that's why you only get one value. Um, I haven't quite finished the question, have I? What's the final plot piece? Does that give you an area of 100 square centimeters? Yeah. 
Bang, you're done. Okay? So you don't get presented with an equation. You have to construct the equation by thinking carefully about the information you've been given. Okay.